Hey everyone, today we are going to do I Love You A Llama. It is a watercolor piece that we will get to use crayons, permanent markers, uh, if we want to, and then also our favorite watercolors. This one has seen better days, but we're gonna use this one up before we get rid of it because we should never waste art supplies. Uh, let's see, we're also gonna need a pencil and an eraser and a blank piece of paper. And I have one here today that I clipped on so we should be good without it moving around. Now you'll notice that I have some watercolor crayon resist going on here. The white crayon underneath made the hearts and then I made these other ones with a kind of a pinkish red color. Now these details that I made inside of my llama, I made actually with watercolor, but you are welcome to use your crayon too if you'd like to. The process of this, we start with the mouth, the U shape, then we go on to the glasses, the body, the ears, and then the decorations, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, we want to find the center of our paper, wherever that is. Some of us might have bigger papers or smaller papers or using a canvas, but we wanna go ahead and find the center of our paper, and the center of my paper is right about here. So I'm gonna do a little, little dot. And that dot is gonna be the bottom part of my large U that is going to make my llama's mouth and smile, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put this right here. And so this is the base of my U, so I'm gonna just draw a smiley face, a smile. I'm gonna draw a smile right on top of that dot. Just a little smile. And then I'm gonna bring that smile up on the left and the right making a nice U shape, pretty simple, okay? So I've got my U shape, and now I'm ready for my glasses. Okay, so my glasses are hearts, but if you wanna make yours rectangle or circles, you can do it however you want. There's no stress and no worries. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by making an equal sign above our U, an equal sign, okay? From this equal sign, then we get to make the shape of our glasses on either side. So we get to decide, do we want to do heart glasses or do we want to do a different shape? It's up to you, but I'm going to make mine a heart. And the best way to learn how to make a heart is by making a V shape, a wide V shape at the bottom. And it's okay if they're not even, you can always fix that later with your eraser. So it's a wide V and a wide V on the bottom. And then on the top, we just make an M. and then we kind of bring them together. Now that's pretty light because I'm using my pencil. I wanna make sure that I don't press too hard with my pencil so my um, pencil lines don't show up if I make a mistake. So sometimes I like to use just a traditional pencil because sometimes graphite is hard to erase. So any normal pencil you find at the store is perfect. All right, so I have my hearts. I have the bridge of my glasses. And now I'm going to make the rim or the edge of my glasses. So basically the frame. Got my heart glasses. I wanna do a little rectangle in the right hand side of my glasses. So it looks like light is hitting them. All right, now I'm gonna tell you the hardest part's already over. So we have our U shape, our glasses, and now we wanna go ahead and make that shape inside of our mouth and nose. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the middle of our U and we're going to make another V. 
and then bring it down to make a Y and then make a W with that Y. And now we have an adorable llama face. Pretty cute. So here is where we get to decide how fluffy our llama is, how tall our llama is, how many curlies it has in its fur. So I'm going to just move my alligator clip really quick so I can make sure I get all of my llama nice and curvy. And so all I'm going to do is I'm going to find the center of my glasses and I'm going to move up kind of high and just make some small hills that connect each other. Making these a little bit thicker so you can see them, but also I'm gonna be going over all of my favorite lines with a permanent marker today. So once I have those three hill shapes, I'm going to carry those out around my llama, kind of giving it some fluff. And they're gonna change the direction so some of them are going to look like parentheses so i'm going to keep doing that all the way down to the end of my paper okay this one is a fluffy llama it's really cold today so we need as much warmth as we can use all right so i go all the way down all the way down to the end of my paper is my fluff now I want to do some ears. My ears kind of look like, I'm trying to think what I would, I don't really know what those would look like. Um, maybe like a, hmm, partial oval with a rectangular bottom. So we're going to start out more narrow, like we're making almost like a square or a rectangle. We don't really have to be too serious about this shape. We can easily erase it. And we want the tip of the ear to be wider than the bottom, than the base. So I'm gonna go up and kind of out and then bring it down. Maybe it kind of looks like a spoon. Maybe that's what it looks like. I'm not quite sure. And now I can move this again. There we go out and it's okay if one of them is a little bit wonky they can have different shaped ears most people have different shaped ears did you know that they do all right now i'm making an internal part of my ear so then that way i can paint the inside of my llama ear pink if i want to paint it pink i can paint it red i can make it purple blue whatever is my favorite color it doesn't matter so i have the base of my llama we're doing great if you need to stop and pause and rewind to see one of these steps, go ahead and do that. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make two simple lines across the chest of our llama where we will put some heart pom-poms on it. So the last bit of our pencil that we need is just to do that. And then we're gonna move on to our Sharpie, okay? Our permanent marker. So I'm going to go from right to left and just curve it across the chest of my llama. Now I could do one above that or I could do one below. I think I'm going to do one below. No big deal. However you want to do it. You could even add a third one if you really want to. I think the third one would be kind of fun. All right. So now you want to transition from your trusty pencil to your favorite permanent black marker. And you are going to go over the, all the lines you want to keep. So this is the time you're really thinking, do I like that line? Okay, I like that line, so I am going to keep that one. And any others, I get erased when I'm done using my Sharpie. So I'll go over my U-shape here. And if I go out of the lines, it's okay. It's not a big deal. And I make my cute little face here make my heart glasses so remember when we make those hearts if we start with that wide V and then go up to that M if we struggle with making a heart shape that's one of the ways that I've found that seems to be a little bit more um, attainable 
and it flows a little bit better for those of us who might have had a harder time getting that concept. So I'm outlining that little light spot in my glasses. I wanna make sure I get the bridge of my glasses. And now I go over those fluffs on my llama's fur here. Again, don't overthink it. If you go over the lines and you miss it, that's why we have our eraser with us today. I go over my ears, the inside of my ears. And finally, these lines. You'll notice how they are perfectly curved and that's okay because they're supposed to be like ribbons of pom-poms on our llama. So what we want to do now is before we start erasing we want to make these little W's, little M's, little N's in our fur to make us look fuzzy, okay? So think about what a little W would look like, like that, little W, or a little N. A, it's actually a capital N, but it's a little one. Um, maybe a capital M. So those are kind of the shapes we're making throughout our whole body, not on our ears, but through all of our fluff, even in between our ribbons that we haven't created yet, okay? So you can do these wherever you want. You want to put them all over our llama to make it look super fluffy, super huggable. Okay. And if you do some different shape fluffs, that's perfect because it's just your very own. So it's no big deal. You don't have to make them exactly like me. And now I'm done with my Sharpie. Or am I? I'm not. You know why? I have to do my ears. So I'm going to go ahead and do these little dashes inside my ears to give it the fluffy texture I'm trying to create. Make it look a little fluffy. Not as fluffy as the body, right? So now I'm done. And that's when we want to use our eraser. Typically I have a bigger eraser, but today I'm using the one that came with the pencil. So I just want to go over all of those lines I don't want to keep. So any pencil lines that I, I made that I, that I can see underneath my Sharpie that I don't like, I can erase them. And you know what? You don't have to do this process. If you're fine with painting over it, your pencil lines, that's perfectly fine. Okay? So the base of our llama, the body is going to stay white, okay? It's going to be whatever the color of our paper is. So if you didn't happen to have any white paper at home when you made this and you're doing it on maybe a yellow piece of construction paper, then you have a yellow llama. So you're just going to keep your llama the color of the paper that you're using, okay? So this is not the best eraser in the world, but it will just have to do for today. All right, so we're just gonna give an eraser bath and then we're gonna wipe all that off. All right, there we go. Now we get to think about what color do we want to make all of our little fluffies? What color do we want to make our pom-poms? Do we want to make them hearts? Do we want to use crayon? Do we want to use paint? You get to choose. So today I have an adorable heart crayon. It's pink and it's got some glitter on the back, which is super fun. You can make these yourself by using old crayons and silicone molds um, and then making your own special crayons. So I think today I'm going to go ahead and just use my other 
colored Sharpies that I have here. I have this nice color. I might use this one. And this is a really pretty color. It's like periwinkle. Um, I'll use that one as well. And I have this other, it's peach, right? So I've got these three colors. You might not associate these three colors with uh, Valentine's Day or love, but you can use whatever is your favorite color. So these are going to be my three colors that I'm going to use for my three little ribbons that I'm going to basically just sit here and draw my pom-pom. So if it's a heart, again, I'm just going to make that, that heart shape. I'm going to color it in. Okay. So again, how do we do the heart? It's just a wide V, wide V, and then an M. And then we just color that in. And if we make a mistake, we can always make that heart a little bit bigger. So draw your um, your wide V a little bit smaller. And then that way, if it isn't the way you like it, you can always make it a little bit bigger. You can adjust it as you're drawing your hearts. So I've got lots of pink here. I'm going to want to add my other colors. So go ahead and start doing that now. You can use your colored pencils, you can use crayons, you can use your markers. Remember, the llama's body isn't going to be painted, so you could even use like Crayola markers. Um, Crayola markers typically uh, react like watercolor um, when they get wet. So they are very much ones that I guess bleed is the best way to say it. They just spread out so they turn into kind of like watercolor. But since we're not changing the color of our paper, we're just adding color to it, then it doesn't matter. We can use whatever we want for the hearts. Now we can go ahead and also use our Sharpies or permanent markers or crayons for the glasses, okay? Um, if you wanna use your black permanent marker, like I did in the original piece for the lens, for the frame. This is the lens, but then this is the frame. To make this solid black, you can totally do that. It's completely up to you again. So I'm just gonna fill up my space with my heart pom-poms. And then I am going to make sure that I have my paintbrush and some water. Did I tell you needed that? Yes, you do need that. Did I forget that? I'm not sure. But you will need paintbrush and water today. Um, your favorite paintbrush will do. I still haven't found my favorite paintbrush. I don't know where it went. I think somebody was crafting and didn't put it away. So I will go hunt for it later on. So now I have two colors. I have like this periwinkle. I've got some big hearts and I've got some small hearts and then I'm going to add that last color. It's kind of a mango. Um, it's really pretty. It's like a pretty orange. It's soft in its tone. So it's not just soft, but it's also warm. So it's kind of a win-win color. Sometimes you either have just a really strong warm color or a really strong cool color, but this kind of is a happy medium, I think. I'm making these, gonna finish these here. And you can make a pattern. Patterns are fun, so you could decide if you wanted to do like, in my case, pink, periwinkle, pink, periwinkle, and then orange, something like that. You could choose to do that. I am loving the orange today. So I'm gonna make my frame of my glasses orange with my permanent marker. Now, great thing about permanent marker, if you get this on maybe the table or on a wall or on something that um, is important that you are, really don't want it to be on, um, alcohol, um, isopropanol alcohol really helps you get rid of a Sharpie too. So it, it's really stinky, but um, it helps you get rid of it if you put it somewhere that you don't want it to be um, like if you're doing an art craft on some ceramics or something and you made a 
a really big challenge for yourself and you were unhappy with how it turned out, then you could totally use that alcohol to get rid of that. So I love my orange glasses. Um, I'm trying to think if I want to do pink lenses. I'm not sure. I think I will only because the base of my llama is white and I really want to highlight my my glasses today. And if you were successful with your glasses, good job. If you found some challenges, just keep trying. There we go, got that. I am, will also use this pink permanent marker to go ahead and do the inside of my ear. So this is my last step before I get out those crayons and do some watercolor crayon resist elements. I'm going to draw some crayons, I mean, excuse me, some hearts with crayons around the llama to make kind of a background. I don't have my white crayon today, so I'm going to be using the red owl and the pink heart that I have in my possession today. So I'm going to take my, my crayon and I'm going to make my hearts on the back drop of my base piece. So that's really light. It's a really light pink. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that I'm using a really strong hand when I'm making anything with watercolor crayon resist because it will work, but we need to make sure that we're pressing down hard enough that the crayon will show up underneath the watercolor. So I'm just going to put a few here and a few there, and then we'll get the watercolors out and get painting. All right, just a few more. That's a really tiny one. And then I get to use my little owl here, super cute. And these crayons are great, especially for um, people who have a harder time with the grip, so they still get a chance to make their own art and be creative on their own in their own way. So lots of fun, lots of fun to make too. All right, so I'm done with my hearts. I'm done with my llama. I've done all the details. Now what I wanna do is I wanna decide um, what color am I going to paint on my fuzzy details, these right here. And I think I'm gonna go with a purple today. So take your watercolors, you just kind of get it nice and moist. You do not want a swimming pool for this. You just want a, a little bit, just on the tip, just on the edge. And you just want to kind of dot, gently go over each of your fuzzy little details that you created here. This will help this color kind of pop out and make it look more three-dimensional, okay? I even do some up here in my ear. And if you miss it and you just like lightly go over it, it's totally fine. All right, pretty simple. I'm gonna use my black just a little bit, just a tiny bit, just put a tiny bit of water. This is a fan brush, by the way. Would not suggest using this for this project, but this is what I had. And I have a little bit of black. I don't want it to be too dark. So I am just gonna kind of gently Pull up that color because I don't want it to drip down my my face and so we just want a little bit of water and a little bit of color and that way we can be in control of how much watercolor is on our paper and moving across where we want the color we can use more water when we're doing the background but we don't want a lot of water on our face because what happens 
if we put too much here. It's going to drip right down to our tummy. So it looks like we had some ice cream and or a lollipop and it just like went straight down to our stomach. So we don't really want that to happen. And if it does happen, just grab a like a paper towel and just dab it. And then you'll be good as gold. All right, last step. We are going to make the background. You just need to choose a color, a watercolor color. I'm gonna choose orange. And I'm just going to paint over my background here, around my llama. And those uh, heart crayons are gonna be popping out, which is really fun. That's the watercolor crayon resist element to this piece. That's pretty fun. Um, I encourage you to do, you could do dots, um, make your own confetti, anything you want. You could put some flowers back there, uh, whatever, whatever suits you. So we've got one side done, last side to go. So one of my favorite parts of watercolor crayon resist is you can make your own special secret messages to like your family like with a white crayon on a piece of paper and then send it to them with like um, like a little watercolor tablet, palette. Um, and then they can just go over it with the color and they can see your secret message. So it's kind of, it's kind of like a decoding thing, but kind of fun, a fun way to send a message. So I'm painting around my little alligator clip today just a little bit easier. And there we go. So we have I Love You, Alana, and different elements is different than the original picture. It was primarily pink, red, and, and purple. But this one's a little bit, I think, a little bit more vibrant, pulling out some of these other colors that you wouldn't really associate Valentine's with. So, all right, guys, I hope you had fun. Um, if you enjoyed this and you'd like to see another one, let me know. Thanks.